Good day to all of my gods and goddesses, emperors and empresses, kings and queens, princesses and princesses. Last but never least, we got the bitches and bitchettes. And I will never forget about the bitches and bitchettes. Why? Because there's levels to the bullshit. Literally. Literally. Now, I'm coming to y'all on today because I know I haven't been here on YouTube. I have my daughter. Yay! August 31st. And um, it just appears that I'm being tested even further. Um, what happened in 2017 it seems to be following me now. Um, I came into labor and delivery um August 31st at maybe 4, 5 a.m. in the morning in labor. Um, I drove myself because um, my daughter's father, um, he was smoking weed the night before and he was being really insensitive and stuff like that. And um, he persuaded me that he wanted to help, but he ended up not helping. But that's neither here nor there. So... I drove to emergency crying my eyes out, praying that I got here in one piece, which I did. I was three centimeters, three centimeters dilated, um, um, maybe five days before. I apologize about that booger, whatever. Three centimeters dilated maybe five days before, and... Um, being three centimeters dilated five days before they sent me home in the same hospital that I in right now, Hutzel. So, um, being here, I instantly coming back August 31st, instantly, um, it's like my daughter came out, was on my knees. They sent me to triage. I literally had her in triage. It was a girl. Uh, it's a girl. So I had her in triage and I had her on my knees. And they was like, Miss Jackson, get on the table, get on the table. And I was like, get on the table. I was pushing. I was in so much pain on my knees. I had her on my knees. Glory be to my side. So um, having her on my knees... She come out, and um, she actually boo-booed inside of me. So um, when she did her bowel movement inside of me, um, she uh, they they um, they were like, "Get up, get up, get up!" They were telling me to get up. I was like, "Help me, help me!" And they was like, "We can't help you and the baby." So there was three people in the room um, when. I was asking for help. So I had to really fortify myself, get my strength up to lay on the bed. So they was like, Miss Jackson, get on the bed so we can put the baby. I apologize about that booger. I apologize. So I was doing a little tearing up, y'all ain't gonna lie. We have to put the baby on your chest. So I got up and let them put the baby on my chest. So when they put the baby on my chest, um, they said that she had trouble breathing. So... When um, they said she had trouble breathing, then uh, they had to basically, um, they had to basically, you know, get the stuff out of her. So they were, you know, getting the stuff out of her, putting that tube inside of her and, um, you know, taking the stuff out. So I was watching to make sure she's okay. But they was like, we got to go put your mask on. Very insensitive. So they get me to a room. They get me to the baby's room, the room where the baby and I are supposed to be. Yes. Yes. Well, loving guidance. Who is it? Yes. Um. So um, that was just the sitter um, coming in. And I'm just going to. Okay. So um, they basically. um. That booger is really bothering me. So they're basically, um, when they did that, uh, I forgot really where I left off. Oh, I was in the room where the baby, um, 
the baby crib is supposed to be as well as the bed is supposed to be for uh, expecting mothers. I was actually supposed to be in that room, the delivery room, when I had my baby girl, but it didn't happen that way. She, we, had, Like I said, I had her in the triage. So um, after that, um, they said that I couldn't see her right away because I had to get the COVID uh, tube thing in my nose, and I denied that. So, um, then they further down the line, then they further down the line told me, um, get, if, um, you don't get it, then baby girl gonna have to get it. Baby girl gonna have to get it too. Uh, if you don't get it, baby girl gonna have to get it. And I said, okay, just give it to me. Let me get it, you know, while I'm getting it. So, uh, she won't have to get it basically um so uh after uh i didn't get it right then but um they gave me some um synthetic synthetic uh something to uh they said that i was bleeding profusely because of I didn't tear really because I had her on my knees. So uh, they said that I was bleeding and I should get this synthetic thing. So I got that. And um, so I had this the tube in my arm, in my hand for the longest. And I was asking them to remove it, but they wouldn't remove it. And I was like, okay, why not remove it if I don't need it anymore? Um, because y'all know, you, you, you know what? We're going to have to... Uh, I'm gonna have to uh, finish this up in the um, uh, another time. Okay, love and guidance. do this when I can because I literally have people watching me. Anybody that can assist me. My daughter is in the ICU. They will not allow her to eat for two days. basically sneaking because I always have someone watching me. The sitter that's on duty is resting right now. I can't even tell the full story because I'm constantly being interrupted and watched. a photo of my daughter and they constantly poking her and they didn't ask for permission to do so. I got here Tuesday. They're keeping me hostage basically. From what happened in 2017. If you're unaware of this Go look at um, a video that I had this past summer. What happened to me in 2017. Um, I've been treated like a prisoner since I've gotten here. I need some assistance. Um, boundaries and respect is not very important here. 
I'm going. <sighs> Anybody, please. I keep being interrupted when I'm trying to. <sighs> I'm not. I don't feel safe here at all. I've been lied on. I've had several dreams, vivid dreams while in here and it's not good. Several dreams. Dreams of people running from tall, tall. <sighs> tall waters. And they tried to stop it. And they're running. Running up under rocks, trying to get away from the water. The water was angry. I had a dream of the old world leaving and the new world coming. Blessed be the Almighty. <laughs> Me and my daughter are still separated. Instead of them. Doing what they supposed to do as health professionals. These facilities are not recommended for you or your children. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you what I am experiencing now. And I'd rather risk it all by doing this. Than to let somebody step into a ditch basically and not help I, I literally have to be up under cover really only so much I can say and do glory be the most
the natural way is the best way.